but when you talk about permissions, do you have like some like you you said about the tree climbing? Like yes, you can climb the tree, but you have to be able to get yourself down. That's actually literally a rule I had when I was homeschooling other people's kids. Like some schools have like a certification process or some like a formal way of 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 acknowledging when somebody is is has permission essentially to do something like that. Do you have a, a like written things or is it formalized or is it just you know? It's more sure. just we know the kids pretty well um mm -hmm. and there's like a few times that a kid might find themselves up in a tree and they can't get out down and they might need somebody to talk them through the process mm -hmm. but you know like going out of bounds which we have a brook and you know a wooded area that's out of bounds we allow the kids to go out of bounds on their own when they've I think it's kind of this unspoken yet people like proving yourself as an individual, like I'm ready for this responsibility. And I've mm -hmm. shown in these other ways within the school setting that I really am, I'm ready to take on this responsibility to go out of bounds with a friend of mine. And I'm not going to, just because I'm out of bounds, start swimming in the brook on my own kind of thing. Like they're, they'll stay by the brook's edge and they will do just as they said that they're going to do, that there's a commitment that they have mm -hmm. to do that. And then there's times where kids might be a little on the cusp of whether they're able to do something like that. And we might mm -hmm. make a one-time agreement like, all right, I think you're ready to give this a try. And they go and come mm -hmm. back share like how did you do you know were you able to mm -hmm. follow through with what you said and so there's like a you know a conversation in that way that might be more informal yet formalizing in that moment that ability to go right, and right. Take risks. like you know this one kid i know i know you're ready but this other one i want to mm -hmm. you know, like let's have a little bit more of a conversation and like and then you can be ready to. Um, so right, there's right. some of that gray area wobbling, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, um, yeah. And I think that's also personalization, the, a positive personalization of, of, you know, like you said, you, you can recognize that one's ready, that one's not. And, and, and be responsive to that without having it be, you know, uh, perceived as unfair or something. This is the Agentic Schools Podcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. I'm your host, Don Berg.